to introduce myself. My name is Mario Bima and I'll be host for this evening. I would like to extend a very warm welcome to Her Excellency Mrs. Mircea Castro Guevara, the Cuban Ambassador to Indonesia, Baba Jaya Suprana, and our distinguished guest from Embassy of Venezuela, Embassy of Democratic People's Republic of Korea, Embassy of Argentina, Embassy of Myanmar, Embassy of Panama, Embassy of Ecuador, Embassy of Armenia, Embassy of Mexico, and Embassy of Italy, and also Embassy of Vietnam. Welcome everyone. And also welcome Bapak Bambang, the assistant of Menko Paul Hukam, and also Ibu Nur Syabani, Kaca Sunkana. Okay, thank you very much for your graciousness in taking the time to be here with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed with our main event, allow me to briefly inform you of our plans this evening. It's going to be a little bit longer. <laughs> First, we will open the event by singing the Indonesian national anthem and the Cuban national anthem, followed by a performance of the welcome dance Tarian Gending Sriwijaya, which is a traditional dance from Palembang, South Sumatra. The dance portrays the majestic culture, the glory and the splendor of the ancient kingdom of Sriwijaya and is typically performed to welcome such honored guests as heads of state, minister of state and ambassadors. Tonight's Tarian Gending Sriwijaya will be presented by Ibu Ailawati Sarwono, Ibu Made Chandra Kurniati, Ibu Sabena Betty Sihombing, Ibu Listiani Kartawijaya, and Ibu Dwi Arlina Afriliawati. Next, we will see a visual presentation of the history of the visit of Commander Ernesto Che Guevara to Indonesia that took place 60 years ago. Following the presentation, we will hear a welcome speech from the Cuban Ambassador to Indonesia, Her Excellency Mrs. Nersia Castro Guevara. And afterwards, Baba Jaya Suprana will also deliver his welcome note. As the highlights of tonight's event, a solo piano recital will be performed by Miss Liane Vega Serrano, followed by a special soprano performance by Laura Munoz Martinez. Finally, we will close the evening with a presentation of token of appreciation to tonight's contributors, a group photos and coffee break gathering. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let us all rise from our seats to sing the Indonesian national anthem Indonesia Raya and continue with the Cuban national anthem La Baya Mesa.
you may now take your seats.
Now let us all take a moment to watch the following video presentation in commemoration of the 60th anniversary of the visit of Commander Ernesto Che Guevara to Indonesia. Excellencies, my dear colleagues from Diplomatic Corps, dear friends, distinguished guests we have tonight here, I have a great pleasure in welcoming you tonight and I sincerely express my gratitude, the gratitude of the Embassy of Cuba for accepting the invitation to commemorate this sixth anniversary of the visit of Comandante Che Guevara to Indonesia. Uh, as you could see in the screening, uh, Che arrived to Indonesia in the first week of August 1959, just a few months after the victory of the Cuban Revolution. The intention of his uh, trip by different countries member of a uh, Bandung Pact and uh, Japan was uh, with the intention to get a view about the development of those countries and uh, have, take its experience to design the future development of Cuba. It happened that when he arrived in Indonesia, so, so he was uh, receive welcoming warmly by leader of Indonesia, especially by late President Sukarno. He also has the very important meetings with uh, foreign minister, uh, minister of foreign relations, and with uh, head of the army and so on. Other. It was a very pleasant contact for him. And uh, after that, after visiting uh, Yogyakarta, visiting Borobudur Temple, and taking some photos there, he visited Bali. And uh, going back to Cuba, he wrote some articles about what he saw in Jakarta and how was his appreciation of President uh, Sukarno. Actually, uh, I would like to say that uh, this opportunity that we uh, take advantage of it and uh, being able to celebrate this uh, important anniversary, uh, which it is uh, a first step in the process of developing bilateral relation between Indonesia and Cuba, uh, was a very uh, first step that made possible the uh, establishment of diplomatic relation on 22nd of January 1960, just during the visit of President Sukarno to Cuba. It was actually, President Sukarno was the first 
head of state that visit Cuba after the victory of the revolution. So I, I was uh, mentioning that it is a great uh, opportunity for us to celebrate this uh, important anniversary. Uh, thanks to the collaboration and sponsorship of Jaya Suprana Institute of Performing Arts. And it is... <laughs> it is a result of a project promoted by him and by the Institute to uh, develop an exchange of uh, musicians, in this case, pianists. Uh, two years ago, uh, an Indonesian pianist <coughs> traveled to Cuba and performed there. And now we have a Cuban young pianist that is going to perform for us tonight. I uh, want to mention also and congratulate Pap Jaya Soprana for the important role he is playing in the formation of new generation in music and arts performance. Especially, he has uh, given great attention to those young people uh, who, uh, who have good talent, but maybe they don't have such a good condition to develop their talent by themselves. I think that it deserves a recognition of all of us. Please. I also would like to express my deep gratitude to the library that uh, gave us the opportunity to organize this event here. And I uh, want to, of course, uh, express gratitude to all of you that joined us during the celebration. So now I think that uh, Jaya Soprana is going to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Thanks, Jaya Soprana. Thank you, Mr. Soprana. has to say a few words. Fidel Castro and Che Guevara were two of great statements which I admire. And I do not know when I was first time facing Cuba that at the same time at the day I arrived